I'm wearing five different eyeshadows. How do you apply five different eyeshadows? Where do you apply them and how do you blend them to create this ombre gradual transition of color over the eye? It's actually very easy. Keep on watching. Welcome to Lifestyle with Isabella, the place where we learn to look the best while being our best selves. Let's learn how to apply and blend eyeshadow. And the first step is to prime your eyes. I've been using for quite a few years the Yves Saint Laurent Eye Primer. The reason it's important to prime your eyes is because the colors are going to look more vibrant on your eyes and also primer keeps the eyeshadow from creasing into your crease. I can actually show you right quick the difference. So I'm going to apply a bit of eye primer on my hand right there and then I'm going to take the eyeshadow palette that we're going to use today. I'm going to apply some eyeshadow over the primer and then I'm going to apply some eyeshadow. This is where I applied the primer and this is where there's no primer. Much more vivid. Quite a difference. I'm going to use the come through contour brush from MOTD Cosmetics and I'm just going to take a bit on my brush and cover the entire eye area, the lid After I apply it, I like to take my finger, ring finger only, only use your ring finger when apply it, when uh, touching the area around your eyes and kind of press the eye primer into my eye. Um, this way it's well applied, but also I remove any excess product that I might have used. And now we're going to do the other eye. Next step, we have to set the eye primer with powder. It's important to set the eye primer we just applied because notice the eye primer. If you touch it, it's very sticky. Imagine putting eyeshadow, which is powder, on top of something sticky. The eyeshadows are not going to blend. So when we set the eye primer with a powder, then we remove that stickiness and the eyeshadows we apply are going to be very easy to blend. Setting the eye primer also helps even further with keeping the eyeshadows from creasing in the middle of your eye. I'm going to use the Guerlain setting powder to set my eye primer. The only reason I use it is because I bought it to try it for my face and I don't like it. It looks too powdery for my preference. So I just use it to prime my eyes. I am using the Conceal Your Secret brush from MOTD Cosmetics. I don't necessarily recommend this powder. Just use any setting powder you have for um, this part. And um, I take the powder do not rub over the eye area. Um, basically, just gently tap the powder into the eye primer. Then once you're done, gently sweep any excess powder you might have placed there. And uh, kind of repeat on the other side. Before we apply the eyeshadow, and by the way, you may hear my husband in the background speaking. I want to explain to you what applying and blending eyeshadow means. So I'm going to use this area on my arm. I already prepped it with the primer and set the primer. Basically is you start with um, a light color eyeshadow. You apply it. And then you take an eyeshadow that's slightly darker. Tap. 
and you apply it over a smaller area, not quite as big, and then you take typically a clean brush and you run it over the harsh edges and it's hard for me to get the right technique right now because I can see, but you run it over the harsh edges until you create a blended look. Then you get an even fluffier brush until you diffuse and it all looks just a kind of, of an ombre blended look. Obviously when we do the eye, my technique will be much better. And then if you want to create more depth, you can take an even darker eyeshadow, you cover an even smaller area, and then you do the same thing with a brush. You diffuse the harsh edges. You see you're creating more depth. Then with a fluffier brush again and you have just a gradual transition of one color into another into another and i know it's not well blended but it's hard for me to uh, blend without actually seeing the area directly today we're going to use the kkw beauty eyeshadow palette this is the classic palette the reason i chose this palette for the tutorial today is because all the colors that we need are in this one palette we don't have to use the two different palettes to get everything we need. My base, which is primer on my face and tinted moisturizer is already on. I always like to do my base first before I do the eyes. And since my base is already on, I always use these eye shields to protect my face from any fallout from eyeshadow. For you, your base might be primer and um, foundation. So I'm going to place these right here. So when you apply eyeshadow, just keep two things in mind. This right here is your crease. This one, this is your crease. And then when you apply eyeshadow, do not come any lower than this. It's basically the edge the line, think from your lower lash line, there's a continuation like that. So everything stays above that. If you come any lower, then your face is gonna start to look droopy. We don't want that. We're going to start with the Build and Blend brush from MOTD Cosmetics. Most of my brushes are from MOTD Cosmetics. They're very soft to the face. And we're going to start with a calabash color, which is this one right here. Gonna swirl it in. Always tap to remove any excess eyeshadow. Never put the brush into the eyeshadow and put it on your eye without tapping the excess first. And we're going to start on the outer corner of the eye right here and kind of swirl it. It doesn't have to be very exact and kind of go across following the outline of the crease and you just swirl. You notice how I'm holding my brush kind of from here so I don't apply too much pressure and kind of a windshield wiper motion as well if you'd like. And now we have created an outline for the eye. Next, I'm going to take the seamless sheer blend brush and I want to just run this brush. I don't have any product on this brush. I want to run the brush over the top and kind of all across the color I just applied to make sure that there's no harsh lines and that it's well diffused across my eye. Next, I'm going to take the eye catching crease brush and I'm going to use Florence as this color right here. And I'm going to dip it just a bit, tap the excess. And basically, I'm going to start again out the corner of my eye. And I'm going to go like this and across my crease. 
I'm going to start right here. And honestly, sometimes, especially when I was learning, I could like, your crease is where that bone starts. And I would go like this. Just tap it into the crease to make sure that I follow the correct outline. I don't do that anymore. This is how I apply it now. But this way, you know you're placing the color where it should go. Gonna. So this is how I apply it now. Just like that. But I still follow the same outline. I let that brow bone, where it, the bone ends, kind of guide the direction where my brush is going. Let's see. Then I'm going to take a slightly fluffier brush. There's no product right now on this brush. You could apply some of the first color we use, the Calabash color if you want. It's more, so, more of personal preference. Right now we're just gonna use with no product. So it's just a slightly fluffier brush. And we're going to run the brush along the, gently, again, just hold it from here. We're gonna run it across the harsh lines but just keep it a bit precise so you don't diffuse the color we just applied all over your eye and make it look muddy. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the side. Seamless your blend. And just gently, just grab it from here and gently run it across all the eyeshadow we applied to further blend all the eyeshadow and diffuse it in a nice subtle ombre effect all across the eye. Next we're going to apply color on the eyelid. I'm going to take the under the covers brush and uh, I'm going to spray it gently with this pure rose water from Chantecaille. But any setting spray, anything that will make the brush a bit wet will do. And we're going to use Chicago, which is this color right here. And I'm going to just do the brush right there tap of any excess and I'm gonna this I don't so much just uh, I don't necessarily brush I kind of tap it into my lid because the color is a bit wet and I go from the inner corner I'm going to eventually run it all the way into my crease, but I'm working my way up to the crease. You want to slowly work your way up. Okay. We'll repeat on the other eye. And then I'm going to take a clean brush. This is Blending Bestie same company, see it's a very fluffy brush, and I'm going to run it at the edge of the metallic color to make sure that there's no harsh edges. It's very important this is truly a clean brush because otherwise the lead color will uh, lose some of the intensity. So now we want to give our eyes a bit more depth. You could finish the eye look here and it will be beautiful, but I do want to create more depth into my eyes. So I'm going to take again the eye catching crease and go back to the calabash color and repeat the earlier process. So I'm going to again start right here. And again, follow the crease. I'm just not gonna go all the way across. You could if you want. Just, um, there's not a whole lot of rights and wrongs in makeup for the most part. So I'm kind of just going halfway this time. I'm covering a smaller area. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then 
we're going to take Miss Shady Lady and at any of this blending process, you could dip the brushes you use for blending into your base color if you want. Or you could even dip it in this one if you want to introduce a new color. It would be perfectly fine. But this is just a basic beginner tutorial, so we're just going to stick with clean brushes for blending. So we're going to run Miss Shady Lady across the harsh lines, but again, kind of keep it precise. Don't go like all over the eye. Okay, and then we're going to take seamless sheer blend and run it across. Then, at this stage, I like to highlight my brow bone. I've seen it done at the different stages of the makeup process. This is around the time I like to do it. I'm going to take Pencil Me In brush and I'm going to use the Gemini color, which is the very light color right here. Tap again and we're going to apply it right here. Up again. Then let's apply a slightly darker color. Again, you could stop here if you wanted, but let's create even more depth to the eye. And we're gonna take again the eye catching crease and we're going to use the darkest color right here, which is fade. And we're gonna dip it slightly. And again, we're going to start on the outer corner and cover an even smaller area. And let's say we're just going to do it like, let's see, more color. Then we're going to just do it right here. You could apply, apply more. It's really what you prefer. This is the only place I apply that. Repeat on the side. And then, of course, we're going to take Miss Shady brush and run it across the harsh lines. But truly keep it in a precise manner because otherwise now you're going to get your makeup very muddy and do not come across. Don't run it too low. So keep it very precise right now and gently, gently press around the eye. And then we will take the seamless sheer blend again and just in a very precise fashion, blend it just a bit further. We do want to freshen up the lid color just a bit. So we're going to take again under the covers and uh, go back to, what's the color? Chicago. And just, oh, tap, yes. Just come across the eyelid, just to freshen up the intensity of that color a little bit. Next, we're going to move to lining the eyes. But before I do that, me personally, I always curl my eyelashes. Uh, for me, if my eyelashes are curled, it helps me direct my liner a bit better, but also the eyelash curler does not, doesn't smudge my eyeliner. For eyeliner, there's <laughs> So many options on how to do the eyeliner, what colors to do. I'm going to show you what I normally use, how I normally wear it, but there's endless ways. So just do whatever you like for eyeliner. This time I'm going to use the Hourglass eyeliner. It's in a very dark brown, as you're going to see. It has a retractable tip. And uh, typically I only like to run my eyeliner from halfway to the outer edge I think it kind of gives a bit more of a lift to my eyes and I also like to kind of point my eyeliner a bit more up to again give my eyes a 
your effect of a bit of a lift. So I place my eyeliner at the very base of my lash line. And uh, this is where I give my eyeliner a bit of a lift. Typically you're supposed to come all the way here. Like one millimeter out, but it makes my eyes look a bit droopy. Repeat on this side. And now we're going to take this is a Sephora Pro brush, tapered eyeliner brush. And we're going to use the darkest color we use on our eyelid, Fade. And I'm going to take this brush. I do not like a very defined eyeliner, for the most part. And I'm going to run this, the eyeshadow kind of over my eyeliner. and into the lash line. Next step is to move on to mascara, but first I like to, actually we can remove these. Okay. Uh, I like to use a eyelash primer first because it makes my eyelashes look longer. And I don't like to use fake eyelashes anymore because they hurt my real eyelashes. I do like how fake eyelashes look. I just don't like what it does to my real eyelashes. And I don't wanna be 50 with hardly any of my real eyelashes left. Maybe it won't happen, I just don't want to take the risk. I do know that since I stopped using fake eyelashes, my real eyelashes have gotten very long. I am using Latisse on them. I'm going to do my concealer and then we're going to finish the under eye part. My concealer is on, so we are going to apply uh, under eye eyeliner. And for that, I'm going to use two brushes. They are the sultry smudge. So two different brushes, exactly the same. The first one, I'm going to use a little bit of this, the fade color and a little bit of the darker color we used on the crest, kind of combine them, tap. And it's very important right now to be very careful because your concealer is on. You don't want to get eyeshadow down on the, uh, too far down your eye. So I'm going to start on the outer edge and I'm only going to bring this color about halfway. Let me start right here. Bring it about halfway and smudge it down just a bit. And then we're going to take the other sultry smudge brush. And we're going to use the, our base color, which is the Calabash. And I'm going to start on the inner corner. The way we do our makeup, the faces we make. We start right here. And then we'll repeat on the other side. This color is just flying all over. I have to be like so careful. And then we're gonna apply mascara. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs mascara.
I forgot one step of eyeshadow. After you do your eyeliner underneath your eyes, use the Pencil Me In brush and come with this color, right, the light color, right here, which is Gemini. And we're going to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. Yes, always tap. And we're going to just highlight this. Then uh, we need to uh, line our um, waterline. I use, always use, I mean, you see how small it already is. It's a brightening eye casual, casual pen from Chantecaille. And use it on my waterline right here. Can you see quite an effect? The entire makeup is done. It turned out beautifully, didn't it? And I do believe you agree with me. The process of applying and blending eyeshadow is very easy. The only thing it takes is practice. The more you practice, the better you're going to get. If you enjoyed my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and keep watching another video from my channel. Thank you.